Welcome back to Hewitt Goldberg. Today we'll be talking about the chemistry major. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? So chemistry has an interesting status. It's a difficult subject for many, but the payoff as far as the job market can be somewhat ho-hum. And thus, if you pursue this academic track, you've got to know what you're getting yourself into. Here we have chemists, material scientists, and the BLS. You see 5% growth. Not that many jobs, just over 4,000. So doesn't give an indication of this being massive, although there are going to be options. You may just have to be more creative depending on what you are trying to achieve. Then chemical engineers, and I recognize chemistry and chemical engineering are two separate degrees, although there is some overlap, uh, but you know, it would be an engineering school versus probably like the sciences departments. Nevertheless, I think it's pertinent to the video, and you see only 4% growth, 1,400 jobs. So again, we have these Oh, just do STEM people. You're thinking, well, if this is accurate, it's a little bit troubling. And I have met a number of people um, in real life who have chemical engineering degrees and have struggled to find jobs. Now, maybe it's a question of relocating to a particular area where you've got a specific industry or whatnot. But that's something to be aware of because as difficult as it is, and it, is, it could be STEM or obviously it is STEM, you don't necessarily see the uh, the windfall insofar as job opportunities being projected. And this too, decide to throw it in forensic science with a chemistry degree, you might very well end up in this field that is typically working on stuff related to law enforcement investigations and CIS, SVU, although perhaps not as dramatic all the time. And there you see 14% growth, but only 2,400 jobs. So it's interesting how the percentage can seem appealing, the number of total positions available to be employed, uh, not so much. Nevertheless, it gives you more options, and now we can get into the different fields that could be pursued if you are actually interested in the chemistry path. As far as the relevance of where you go to school, obviously if you want to be at a high level of research, you know, go to one of the top universities, investigate the departments themselves, uh, look at what kind of funding they have, research opportunities, they're not going to all be equal. Uh, at least I would say a public research university, if not a decent private institution. Uh, that's going to be a question, of course, it could come down to what you can afford, if you can get scholarships and the like. Here, this article is pretty crucial because it gives you a sense if you're looking at an academic role, going to the PhD level and teaching, this was similar to one of the others we recently brought up, but uh, 2019 to 20, academic cycle ended with 557 tenure track positions available, down slightly from 592. And then 2020 to 2021, available positions, 210. So a massive decline. I don't know if this is related to COVID, if there's university cuts going on, but a lot of schools are just, they're doing what much of the private sector has tried to, you know, weasel away with, oh, we'll give you the, you're a, you know, 1099, you're a contractor. In this case, you're a visiting professor, uh, assistant professor with no real future so far as a firm, you know, okay, I'm going to get tenure. And that's something to be aware of. That's why I think a lot of people I've heard with PhDs, uh, not just in the sciences, but also in like the humanities, many of them have moved on to run businesses or even work for think tanks because they're not having the opportunities for a secure career where universities are concerned. So we just talked about, of course, the teaching aspect. You could go into corporate research, work for a pharmaceutical company, that sort of thing. I don't know how much that motivates people, but it's probably going to be the best compensation if you're in those circles. So that is something to consider. That's going to require not just the chemistry skills, but a certain amount of uh, skill with interacting with others, making the networks, finding corporate level internships, and you might have to relocate for those. So if you're the type, I just want to stay in the same uh, relatively small radius, maybe not the best option. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up here, it's maybe unorthodox for some people to think of, but you can work for especially municipal governments doing water testing 
and it isn't necessarily going to pay a lot to begin with although over time you could end up doing fine because they'll have labs where they have to take samples and do work on the quality of the water and that gives you government benefits it's pretty secure and if you stick with it for a number of years you'll be making decent money you just have to be kind of the grunt for a while and make do with maybe not a massive paycheck so bear that in mind that you don't want to take on a huge amount of debt and then you're only going to be making 40k to start uh, another dynamic of course is as we talked about forensics you can do this for the federal government for the state in some cases for the local as well best option there is to find internships while you're in college because many of them you can intern for police departments or you can intern sometimes for federal agencies as well that's a question just of forming proper relationships with professors hopefully you know professional appropriate relationships <laughs> and really I, I guess you would say to the greatest extent possible extracting the benefits from those associations towards recommendations and perhaps you know they even know someone who's working in the field or in the government and can get you a placement so chemistry if you're looking at it purely from like a dollar perspective it's not the best major but if you're really driven to do it there are some career options it's just as i said before you might have to get creative and not necessarily do your dream job if you choose to study this particular a course of uh, material.